Hey guys, Josh here from Vans and I'm just putting together this preview video walk around for you on this Ford Transit Courier. Now, what I tend to do in these videos, just a general preview of the interior, the exterior and the spec on the vehicle. If you do get the end of the video and it looks like the sort of thing you're looking for, then just let us know. We'll then put together a further in-depth video walk around that will cover any and all imperfections in a bit more detail. So let's jump in, tell you a little bit more about this van. Now, this one's a 2019 on a 19 plate. It's covered 76,500 miles and I believe it's a trend model of the van or at least it's got a very well spec on it okay finished in Munda silver let's get cracking then for your spec so coming around to the side then it comes with uh wheel trims as standard of course you've got a ventilation a ventilation disc in the top barn doors at the rear you have reverse parking sensors on this model which is also handy with the vans coming around to your side then you've got a single side loading door and then we're back round to your front end jumping into your interior then okay so it comes with two seats in the front as you can see looking nice and clean for 76,000 miles your floors looking in nice condition and there's a little sneak peek of some of the bits of spec which i'll touch on a bit further very shortly these are the sort of things i'm going to be showing in the in-depth video walk around there's some sort of outy dents on there so this one will get touched up so we'll take your eye off it um but obviously there's not a great deal you can do without painting the whole whole door but um it's not the end of the world at least in our opinion anyway so in here then you've got a slight raised floor now you'll see why that is in a moment you've got your bulkhead in here okay you've got some tie down points there as well carrying on into the back then the reason it has a raised floor which i think is a really good reason is you've got some bot drawers in here which are a really expensive manufacturer sort of uh, internal van racking so in your drawers Look at that. That is some length for a set of drawers. And you've still got loads of space in the back of the van, look. Obviously, they're not massive vans anyway, but that is a really, really handy use of space. And obviously, it's a lot easier to get into the van, into the back here, using this space at the back, without climbing into the van. So, nice little bit of spec there. Click into place, and you're away, nice and secure. Okay, carrying on at the inside of the van. Now, what I tend to do with this part of the video is jump in and give you a quick fire of the spec on the vehicle. So, you have electric windows and power adjustable wing mirrors just found here. Automatic lighting. You have some driver seat adjustments just found there. And there's a view of your driver seat. Jumping into the vehicle then. We're on 76,442 miles. If I show you start up. Starts on the button, as you can see there. Runs really smoothly. Drives very nice. Now, in terms of your spec, comes with cruise control and speed limiter functions found here. If you click this button here, you've got a little interactive dashboard with range, miles per gallon, uh, mile per hour, all of that sort of stuff. Some media functions are found here. Onto your centre console then, so it's a full sync 3 centre console, so it will have full Apple CarPlay compatibility. It's fully touchscreen, comes with inbuilt Ford sat-nav, okay? In terms of your audio and things then, you've got Bluetooth, media and phone connectivity, as well as DAB radio, FM, AM radio. You've got a little predictive display for your reverse parking sensors. Coming on down then to your comfort and climate side of things, you've got a couple of buttons here. You do have the all-important air conditioning, which I know lots of you will be looking for specifically. Some traction control, 12-volt uh, charging, USB port for charging there. It's a six-speed manual transmission. Armrest for the driver, I love an armrest in the van. Storage glove box even a little bit of overhead storage as well so very very nice example of one of these vans so let us know your thoughts anything further i can do to help just give us a shout and i'll be more than happy to cover in a further video thank you very much for watching take care bye bye